Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Total War Rome 2, and we're going to do the benchmark um, in this particular game. I noticed this uh, on my day one video when I was looking through the graphics that you could run a benchmark. So we're going to go into advanced options here, and I'm going to show you guys my options. So uh, let's let's go back really quick. So you, I'm running 1920 by 1080 custom uh, quality, and you go in here and this is I have it basically on max and my graphics card is a EVGA 660 Ti uh, signature 2 and uh, you guys can see all my settings here and we're gonna go ahead and run the benchmark so um, that's what we got here, and we're gonna go ahead and run the benchmark. Forest. So here I have Precision X at the top left. Show you guys all uh, my temps and uh, what kind of uh, graphics pull it has on it. I don't know if it has an overlay a lot or not. We will see. Okay, it has an overlay at top right. Oh, Quintilus Varus, give me back my legions! Wow, it's pretty intense. Walking into a trap, Varus. The German will betray you. He will betray Rome. I don't know what exactly is locking up. Arminius, a traitor. I think not. Because I, um, I don't know if you can hear from the from the mic, but my video cards upcycling and downcycling and doing that. Rome may have raised me. Back and forth, so I don't know what exactly is going on. My loyalty is to my people. So let's go ahead and, and back out out of this really quick. And I'll try a um so let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to ultra settings. We're gonna accept these settings and we're gonna go back into the graphics options. We're gonna go into advanced graphics. And these are uh, the ultra settings, so I'm gonna go right off the um, the ultra settings. So use the ultra preset, and uh, this will give you a good idea on how this particular um, game is gonna run on your system. So we're gonna go ahead and run the same benchmark, and see how it goes. Give me back my legions! So here definitely running a lot smoother. We're up at 60. I'm going past 80. So it definitely runs very good um, uh, when you have it on uh, a pretty decent um, setting for your game. I mean, you can still see kind of like the texture pop-ins or something going on. Are walking into a trap, Varus. That's probably more of an German engine thing rather you. than um, he will betray Rome. a video card problem. Arminius, a traitor. So that was probably what was causing me problems with uh, the frame drop and it freezing up, hanging a little bit, was when the texture pop-ins were happening. Otherwise, it'd probably be in 30 frames a second. But my loyalty... Actually, I don't know if it's a uh, texture pop in, it might be just uh, the raindrops.
So here we're running at 30, because quite a bit of units on frame. So of course, uh, this particular game is definitely a um, V-Sync type, something that you'd run using V-Sync. So we're going to cancel, cancel, and we're going to go to, sorry about that, we are back, and we're going to take a look at Extreme, except the pre uh, settings, graphics, advanced options, and this is the Extreme, we're going to run it on the Extreme preset, same benchmark, let's see what we get on the Extreme preset. So here you can see that this is definitely something I would run on this particular graphics card and just V-Sync that there, uh, keep it under 30, or even bring down the quality a little more because the quality of this game isn't super crazy to begin with. So bring down the quality so I can uh, alleviate the load off of my graphics card. But of course that's not what I would do because I'm because I'm reviewing these games so I'll have the graphics up as uh, as high as I can in order to play the game so you guys can get a good idea of what the game will play like if you're looking for a graphics um, extreme or if you're looking for stability you'll get the best idea so that's why I review it like that I review it to where I get at least you know above 15 or at least 30 so this is what I would run it at this is gonna be the setting I'm gonna um, probably run the game at maybe change a little bit to the, the anti uh, settings dystropic change that to maybe like four or eight times I'll probably just leave it here, depending on how well it plays in the actual game. And there it is. That's uh, the Rome Total War 2 uh, benchmark. So, uh, hope it gives you guys a good idea of how it's going to play on your system. And uh, let me know in the comments of what you get at a certain preset, and uh, I'll take a look at it. So uh, this has been Steven from Legit PC, and I would like to thank you for watching my video. If you like my videos, please subscribe for other videos like it, and thanks for watching.